Hi guys, today I made a wall plaque. This is from Z Gallery and this one is mine. Stick around to see how I did it. I'll be using one and a half poster board from the Dollar Tree and I'm just tracing patterns like a flower in no particular order. Then I cut the shape with my scissors and I'll be making 12 of these. It's about half the size of Z Gallery's, mine is about 20 inches. I'll be using school glue mixed with water. Then I'll soak the paper and leave it to dry in the shape that I want it to be. And to give it the shape, I used anything I could find around the house. I used these bowls that I have here. And I also used water bottles. And I think those came out much better. I left them to dry for about 5 hours and this is how they turn out. Now they are firm and I can work with them. So I'll be using hot glue sticks also from the Dollar Tree and just tracing lines from the middle. This was about my third one and you know the more you do something it's the better you get at it. Um, the first and the second one, they turned out not so nice as this one. Because what I did, I drew the lines next to each other before the glue was fully dry. So they all melt together in some spots and that's not very appealing. So the way I'm doing it here, it works perfectly. Because I'm drawing like a pie shape. And as I'm going around, the glue on the other side is drying. So they're not combining together. So my goal was to get a copper color and I did not want to spend the extra money for the spray paint so I'm using this brown paint that I got from Walmart and I'm gonna mix it with some silver paint to try and achieve the color. This was an experiment I didn't know how it would turn out so the brown look is very dark it's like dark chocolate brown so my plan is to put it underneath and then put the silver on the top and hopefully I'll get the copper color. So for my white, I use a flat white paint that I have, acrylic paint, and then I'm going over with this iridescent color. For my frame, I cut two pieces from a foam board and I'll be gluing them together to make it extra strong. After the brown was dry, I went over with my silver paint and it worked. You might not be able to see it as well on the camera but it worked and I'm, I'm going over again patting it gently with the brown just to achieve the look that I want. Then I spray painted the rest of them gold with Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold Spray Paint. So I'm carving out a section of my um, foam board that I want to put the smaller ones so it won't show as much. I'll be using this 18 gauge aluminum wire to make my hooks in the back. And I'm using the hot glue to hold it in place until my glue dries and I'm using the E6000 with a piece of paper to go over it so the glue doesn't spill while I'm working. So I went outside and I spray painted it gold and I'm using these 316 inch um, wooden dowels and that's what I'm gonna use to attach the flowers. To my foam board. So I don't have an exact measurement of how tall I should cut the dowels, I'm just eyeballing it.
and I ended up using two dowels per flower and I'm using hot glue and after I'm done using the hot glue I'll be going over with my strong adhesive I'm just placing them in random spots and some of the dowels I turn them sideways so the flower can stick out it would definitely look better if I had more flowers I think 16 of them would look really nice but then it also depends on the space that you're gonna put it in To cover the sides, I'm using um, three strips of bling wrap and I'll be using my hot glue to attach it. And here's the final result. It was so quick and easy except for the drying time with the glue and the water mix. So what do you think guys? It cost me less than $10 to make this. It's about $8 so if I should add let's say six more petals it should run about ten dollars let me know if you'll try it leave me a comment let me know also don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel click the bell icon and select all so you won't miss out on any future uploads thanks to my subscribers for keep coming back and if it's your first time here please join us see you next time bye